Hello, how do I uh, protect the children from my previous marriage from being disinherited by my present wife if I pass away uh, first? Okay, this is a great question and uh, we get asked uh, quite, quite often. Um, my name is Michael Davis. I'm a Spanish lawyer. I've been handling estate planning and probate for expats and, and uh, inheritance for, for people inheriting property in Spain for the last 25, uh, over 25 years now. Okay, so what you need to do is, uh, if, if you want to avoid uh, your children being left out of the estate or the possibility of that happening, you'll need to leave something in the first instance. So if you're in the UK, you may set up a trust, for example, but that possibly doesn't exist in Spain. So what do we do in Spain with your Spanish will? Okay, so, I mean, if you want, it, it's all a trade-off between the spouse and the children. Uh, so if what you want is for them to, uh, let's say you've got, for example, a villa, uh, a villa in Estepona, um, and let's say it's completely in your name. Um, so you want the children, you, you, you've got a, young, uh, a younger wife or, or vice versa, and, uh, and you're just concerned, you think you're going to die, away, die first, there's a high possibility, and you know, you're contemplating the possibility of your uh, now wife remarrying, and you're concerned that if you leave the total estate to her, uh, she may end up uh, uh, remarrying or she may have, have other children and she may leave your children completely out of the estate. And this is something that, that you, don't, you don't want to happen. So different options. One, you can leave things directly down to your children. But of course, that's maybe not what you want to, to do because it leaves your uh, present spouse uh, homeless and that's not you want that you don't want that to happen either. OK, so there's a way that we use very often, and that is uh, with a life possession. So what you can do is you can leave the you can leave the final ownership, what we call here the nude property or nuda propiedad. You can leave that directly to your your children and leave the life possession that is called the usufructo in Spain. Um, to your, your present wife. Uh, this will allow her, to, she'll, have, she'll, have, she'll have a title deed that will say that she has the right to live in the property or benefit from the rental of the property. She has the use of the property until she passes away, but she could never sell the asset. It will always, it's guaranteed that the final owners will be the children. And then of course, you can leave her money as well as a legacy. Uh, there are other things you could do, but, they, but the main thing, for example, if it's the villa, you can divide it uh, that way. It has inconvenience, obviously. It is a trade-off because maybe uh, then your wife needs to sell or wants to move. Then, of course, you'd have to negotiate uh, with your children. We, we like this solution. Uh, we use it very, very often. Um, as I say, especially in those situations with uh, uh, second spouses, uh, children from a previous marriage, one of them, one of the members of the, of, the, of the marriage, much older than the other, and maybe the older one having put in most of the money. Uh, this system of life, we like the system of life possession uh, residual value because it's sort of a, it, it allows a certain degree of safety and fairness. It has a good a good a good there's a good sort of trade-off of um, what we want to between the different interests uh, involved to try to try and keep everyone happy and feeling uh, safe uh, i hope you found this video useful uh, if you did uh, please uh, hit the subscribe button um, it's it, it helps us it helps uh, google uh, helps other people find our our video on uh, youtube thank you